This video is brought to you by Squarespace. For online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the perfect place to build a beautiful website and run your business. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV, and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very impromptu and special episode. Today, I'm in London, I'm in Regent's Park, because there's been a very special delivery right behind me. Now, forgive me if I'm incorrect, but this, I believe, is the first Aston Martin V12 Speedster to be delivered in the UK, first customer car, and is a very, very special example. I brought my Hurricane along for the occasion. So I haven't had my Evo rear wheel drive out since it appearing on the Suntech stand at Goodwood. And to be honest with you, uh, the Speedster makes it look like a toilet brush in comparison, but I'm very happy with the car. I love it, it's here, it's got its Suntech film on it, blah, blah, blah. We're not here to see this though. We are here to see this, ladies and gentlemen. This piece of, frankly, artwork. Now, it's got a very punchy spec on it, so let's come around then. We'll start at the front. It's a very sensible place to start. Absolutely mental having these two cars together. This is one of less than 80 cars that are going to actually be built. This then is the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. As the name suggests, it's got a big fat V12 in the front. Actually the same V12 that was in the DBS at Superleggera, as we all know, is no slouch. And it's got hardened, more honed handling and springs package in it. Inside here then, unlike in the DBS, you've basically got the seats from a racing car, you've got these very thin carbon bucket seats in here. So, paintwork wise then, this is actually from the standard palette at Aston Martin. This was not optional extra triple layer paint. This is actually on the standard palette that you could select from the Aston Martin uh, configurator. Very few people are able to get one of these. This was actually on the standard palette. So what the chap who owns this car, who I've done some very cool stuff with in the past, which I can't actually talk about, the only option that he's pretty much optioned is these. Believe it or not, Aston Martin will charge you extra for these exposed pieces of carbon here. I suspect, because there's so much carbon on this car already. These are already carbon, but you basically have to pay to have it not painted, which is bonkers. But the rest of the car is all standard specifications. So you'll see these wheels here, which I think we first saw on the NA V12, V600, extremely limited, uh, one of seven V600 Vantages. I think these wheels were first seen on there. Center lock wheels, like a racing car, very, very cool carbon round the front here a little bit of chrome on the front there which i think works really really well very classy tasteful spec nice to see it not completely blacked out again black wheels but you've got the chrome finishing on the front of them and then you've got this orange on the calipers which matches the rather punchy interior it's a brave choice but i think it's worked really well but the owner of this car is actually also optioned orange on the steering wheel because apparently when you option the seats in orange the steering wheel was black and there's another couple of little bits of black leather in here but he said if it's black leather turn it orange so that is actually special order on the steering wheel and a little fly enjoying itself on the steering wheel already nice bright orange but i think that sets off against the satin carbon and the kind of iridescent green paintwork very nicely indeed one of my favorite features of this car is this flying kind of rear view mirror like a Formula One car between there on this kind of buttress between the two seat sections. Lots of carbon, so these entire seats are actually carbon throughout. Alcantara finishing on them, and you've got carbon all behind the backrest there as well. And some really nice details. You've got these brown leather straps, leather kind of rivets on here as well, with lovely stitching on there too. Satin carbon here on this kind of virtual windscreen and you can actually bolt on something here to make your life a little bit more uh, palatable whilst driving around. Uh, the owner has actually got, as he calls it, his incognito disguise here. So he's got this uh, setup that he'll bat around in. Despite being outside, you won't be able to tell who he is with the hat and the goggles on as well. So quite a cool setup and we'll try and get some moving shots of him very shortly and hear this thing very shortly as well. So round on the passenger side, the brown leather theme is continued. And we've got this kind of little pouch here, very nicely done, very nicely finished indeed. We've got actually kind of brown carpets down here as well. Do you know what? If you wrote all this down and said, would this work? You'd probably say, hmm, not sure. But seeing it in the metal and the carbon and the leather, it works so so well again got carbon detailing the whole way around here this really is a special car 
I must admit, I had my doubts when I first saw it. I thought, nah, it's a DVS with a new roof. But it really is so, so much more than that. The level of finishing and the unique details on this car, it really is something to behold. I love this. I just wish I had a few more zeros in my bank account because I'd have one. Side scoops here, huge carbon side sills. And coming around the back, so on the Goodwood car, some of you realize there's some glass at the back here, which you can see through and you can see helmets and luggage and whatever else you're carrying around, you can actually see through and see those bits and bobs in the back of the car. I'm not sure why you would do that. And apparently Aston Martin charge uh, up to about 20 grand for the bits of glass at the back there. So a bit of a nonsense option. And this car doesn't have it. I mean, in London, that would just be hell. You store anything in there, people would be elbowing straight through it to get the goods inside. And if you want the helmets, I've been reliably informed that they're about three grand each. Uh, lovely bit of margin on them from Aston Martin. Well done, lads. Um, again, this owner didn't actually bother specking those because I don't think you'd probably track this car, but goggles, I would say, it's probably the most important option on this vehicle. So then some suedo journalism before I go. Top speed is 186 miles an hour and 0 to 60 is 3.5 seconds. Obviously you've got the V12 up at the front there. Not that you'll be able to hear it when you're flat out in this thing. It's already developed a bit of a crowd here. And one thing worth noting as well, obviously this is kind of Vantage sized. However, they don't make a V12 Vantage. This is the closest thing you're gonna to get to a V12 Vantage. They've somehow, they said for years and years and years, we can't put a V12 in the new Vantage. So stop talking about it. And then they've gone and crammed a V12 in this thing. So um, this is the closest thing you're gonna get. And to have all that power in something this size is absolutely ridiculous. It's obviously rear wheel drive as well. And actually, if it's stats on the DBS or anything to go by, mid range and the DBS getting moving, it's actually faster than an 812 super fast, which is no slouch. So can only imagine how barbaric this thing is to drive. I'm rushing through this because the owner's got to be somewhere. I've literally just harassed him in the street but it's really, really cool to see this thing in person. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little walk around. We'll do a little start up hopefully now. And the curious thing about this car, meaning that it's probably a one of one, it's actually an English registered car with left hand drive because this particular owner will be using this abroad as well. So he optioned it, left hand drive, but with English plates, meaning that this is probably a one off. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, that may well have made the title of the video. So we've got the owner in there. I'm just going to conceal his identity a little bit. And the cool thing, again, with Aston's, they did this thing with the doors. They kind of poke slightly upwards in the kind of wing-like fashion to mimic that of their logo. I think we're going to get a little light on, a little light display at the back. It's really nice. Whereas the Vantage, obviously, that centre bit there is filled in and solid. This is actually kind of aero. There's a kind of a hole in it. The other thing with this car as well, obviously you've got the Elva and the Monza, there's direct uh, kind of comparisons being drawn between the three cars. This is so, so, so much rarer. The Monza, there's what, 500 odd of those. The Elva, uh, there's as many as they could have sold, so probably about 100 or so, 200. God knows how many they've managed now. Um, but this is less than 80. Absolutely bonkers. And price-wise as well, they're gonna tell those. I think these are gonna be really popular, and as far as I know, they're sold out. There she goes then. Quite close to the curb then. Chief Curb Liaison Officer. All right. Dior. Things going okay for you, quite yeah, clearly? Yeah, Bit of Dior. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah. TGTV. Things aren't going too badly in this end. The management in Dior. Off he goes. Yeah, see you later. How good does that look? It's a shame they're not making more because this is probably the first and last time I'm ever going to see one of these cars. I mean, the Monza looks like common muck in comparison to this. And the Elva, I don't know. I know obviously I, I do a bit of McLaren bashing, but... It, for you. Really? <laughs> How was that? Amazing, bro. It's so cool. Ice streaming? Yeah. Even at 20 miles an hour around here? Yeah, it's quite cool having these two together though with the... It's about hurricane size, to be fair. Hurricane. Speedster. 
doing my best to conceal the uh, the owner's uh, identity because he is not an internet person like me. Lucky him. I think then that is that. The owner's got bigger and better things to go and be doing than hanging around letting me film a vlog. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this impromptu little vlog with an amazing piece of kit. This amazing rare piece of kit. This will be off to Europe very soon. So you may well not see it in London ever again. Amazing car and a huge thank you of course to the owner for letting me have a little look around and poke my camera around. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all soon. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this video was brought to you by the one and only amazing Squarespace. If you've ever dreamed of building a website, building a business, Squarespace is the place for you. There's loads and loads of tools that enable you to build a beautiful website that not only looks nice, but performs amazingly as well. Now, there's loads of tools within the Squarespace platform and tools that they give you. So whether you're building a website for passion or for business, Squarespace is the place to go. Now, there's an exclusive offer coming at the end of this chat. I'm just going to explain a couple of the benefits and why Squarespace is so amazing and why I really rate it and why I personally actually use it. You've got a load of tools in there anyway that makes your life easier and makes your website more effective. So the first of those is membership areas. If you're building a site and you want a specific membership area, Squarespace has got the tools to enable you to do that. You can also run and set up amazing, beautiful, effective email campaigns, which is particularly important in e-commerce. You can set up a subscription model, which is something I use in Crep Chief Notify, an amazing thing to do uh, in terms of building value in a business. Squarespace will enable you to make all your websites mobile optimized because most of the traffic these days is on mobiles. And you can very quickly and easily analyze all the data. So things like bounce rate, your most viewed pages, and things that enable you to drill down and make your website particularly effective. And you can actually learn from that data really, really well. So those are really helpful, really easy things. And trust me, I'm a baboon when it comes to computers, but I can manage it, so so can you. So if you think of starting a website, please do use the code below. You'll get 10% off your first order. You can hit the exclusive link below. And not only are you helping yourselves by saving some money, but you're also supporting the channel. Good luck happy creating and as always send me links to your websites when you built them i love seeing what you're all doing